Chapter 991, Too Slow Zhang Weiyu had reminded Li Haiten and the rest that they could eliminate the bandits, but no other incidents should happen. But Li Haiten and the rest were crazy with joy, as they did not have to do homework or attend cultural classes. At first, Li Haiten and the rest were still quite mild. But when the white squirrel suddenly led an army of mice, the situation changed. But Nanging City was very safe. There were mice in every corner of the city. Even those who tried to seduce women could not escape their gaze. But Zhang Weiyu could not understand. Lu Xu had never told him about this squirrel. Furthermore, it was a human-like rank 2 squirrel. But even though Lu Xu had never told them about Little Fury, the Wei Wu army had never doubted Little Fury's origins. Its face was printed on the soap. Thus, although Little Fury was worried that Lu Xu would not be able to explain its origins, it later on realized that its identity was not a cause of concern to the Wei Wu army. Furthermore, Little Fury had written out its origins for Li Haiten and the rest. They were all filled with veneration. Little Fury was a senior disciple. At the same time, Lu Xu made his move in the palace. He waited for the entire morning before sorting out the bets and odds in the gambling dens. The night before, the Li family, who was originally ranked fourth, suddenly bought the fourth ranking once again for the person ranked fifth. With Ding Choshui and Duan Mu Yunj eliminated, this candidate called Yu Wintao was the most talked about candidate other than Lu Xu. Li Fangfeng, the genius from the Li family, was an experienced soldier who had fought at the boundary. Although his achievements were not as outstanding as that of Ding Choshui, he was very ferocious. Thus, with his wealthy background and experience, he was ranked highly even though he had just advanced to rank 1. At first, the Li family was very happy. It was good for their image to be ranked so high. But last night, when they suddenly received the news, they were unhappy. Although the wealthy families in the palace had fame and power, the commander of the Wei Wu army had eliminated the illegitimate sons of the Lords of Heaven. The wealthy families in the palace would not be spared. But the wealthy families had money. Li Fangfeng's father talked to all the gambling dens in the palace and bought the fourth placing for Yu Wentao. This time, it was Yu Wentao's turn to be uncomfortable. But that afternoon, Yu Wentao was not the one who was eliminated. Instead, someone in the middle of the rankings had been eliminated. Everyone was dumbfounded. A lot of people had placed bets that Yu Wentao would be eliminated. How did this kind of accident suddenly occur? A group of people started to jump into the Longin River, complaining that the gambling dens had sabotaged them. Suddenly, everyone came to a realization. What characteristics did the one who was eliminated have? His odds were the highest. When the news that Lu Xu would eliminate other candidates according to their ranking, broke out, everyone placed bets that Yu Wentao would be eliminated. The more people who placed bets, the lower the odds would become. Thus, if Lu Xu eliminated Yu Wentao, they would not earn much money. Everyone now understood. Lu Xu did not go according to the rankings to eliminate people. He looked at their odds. Everyone also discovered that up till this point, Lu Xu was responsible for all the candidates who had been eliminated. Everyone gasped in shock. There had never been such a ferocious candidate in history. He dared to challenge the entire Sword Hut selection candidates by himself. The boss of the Song Ji gambling den was melancholic. He had earned money from the bets placed on Yu Wentao, as the person who had been eliminated this time was not Yu Wentao. Thus, the bets placed on Yu Wintao would go back to the gambling dens. The problem was, although they had earned money, someone had bet a large amount of money on the candidate who was in the middle of the rankings. Who earned money in the end? Lu Xu. Xiao Mingzi was furious. Can you find him? If we can't find Lu Xu, everyone will be punished. No one is to run away. A manager hurried in. Boss, the Li family has sent someone here. This time, they want to buy Yu Wentao's odds. Xiao Mingzi was dumbfounded. The Li family has something against Yu Wentao. 
The manager thought about it. I think Yu Wentao wants to know why too. At that moment, someone suddenly reported, Boss, something terrible has happened. Xiao Mingzhou was alert. Who did Lu Xu eliminate this time? How much did he bet? No, the person who reported this piece of news panted. Someone has entered that house. House. What house? Xiao Mingzhou was dumbfounded. It took some time for him to realize that it was the house the Song Ji Gambling Den had given Lu Xu. Hurry, hurry. Xiao Mingzhou jumped up. Bring me there. Although everyone knew that the house belonged to Lu Xu, they did not react as quickly as the Song Ji Gambling Den. Xiao Mingzhou was racing against time. As long as he ran fast enough, the odds would not catch up to him. Xiao Mingzhou knew that when Lu Xu stayed publicly in the house that the Song Ji Gambling Den had given him, it meant that they were willing to discuss with the Song Ji Gambling Den after earning enough money from this afternoon's accident. They were not enemies, but Lu Xu was extremely unhappy that the Song Ji Gambling Den had accidentally placed Lu Xu in first place. This was the reason all these events had happened. But no matter whether it was Xiao Mingzhe or Lu Xu, they missed the days that they earned money together. If Lu Xu had not worked with the gambling dens, he would not be able to earn much money. On the other hand, if Xiao Mingzhe did not work with Lu Xu, he would not be able to earn much either. The gambling dens had many methods to ensure that they did not lose money. But the problem was, a money squandering den like the Song Ji Gambling Den would not be considered as they were losing money. Lu Xu staying in the house meant that the Cold War was over. Business would return to its regular state. Xiao Mingzhe hurried over. Lu Xu smiled joyfully and welcomed him. They discussed for 30 minutes. Then, Xiao Mingzhe took the chance while everyone had not reacted to secretly leak out Lu Xu's position. The entire palace stirred. Everyone was still guessing when Lu Xu would appear, but now, his position had been exposed. The candidates for the Sword Hut were ready to take action. In the past, they were unable to find Lu Xu. But now that they had found Lu Xu, they could think of a better strategy. For example, working together to eliminate Lu Xu. To everyone, Lu Xu was the chief culprit that had messed up the entire selections. With him around, they would not be able to have a proper fight. Furthermore, no matter how amazing Lu Xu was, he would not be able to stop all the other candidates, right? There were six rank ones and over thirty rank twos. Everyone started to move. Some managers in the Song Ji gambling den could not understand. Boss, why does Lu Xu want to expose his own position? Xiao Ming's aside. He doesn't want to eliminate the rest one by one. He said it was too slow. Chapter 992, Each with an Ulterior Motive Was Lu Xu annoyed that the elimination of the other candidates was too slow? No, he was annoyed that he was earning money too slowly. There were a total of 47 people in the Sword Hut selections. Lu Xu had only eliminated Ding Qiushui and Duan Mu Yunj, the rank twos with the highest odds. He had also eliminated the rank 2 who had exposed his advancement to rank 1, as well as another rank 2 on the way here. This meant that other than Lu Xu himself, there were 41 candidates left for the Sword Hut selections. Everyone felt that no matter what mischief Lu Xu caused, for people would still be selected for the Sword Hut. On one hand, it was the standard. In the past, no matter how intense the selections were, it never reached a point where not even four people were left behind. After all, when only four people were left, they no longer needed to kill one another. On the other hand, everyone felt that Lu Xu was not crazy enough to eliminate everyone. There was no need to do so. Thus, while the people had not realized what Lu Xu was doing, things started to happen beneath the surface. The people in the palace suddenly realized that the candidates for the Sword Hut had started to secretly form alliances. They saw many people hurriedly working together with another candidate for the Sword Hut. It seemed very urgent. They even did a crude job of keeping it secret. At this moment, Li Fangfeng appeared. 
he had an advantage. The Lee family had their eyes on the whereabouts of many candidates of the selections. Thus, it was very convenient for them to cooperate. Li Fangfeng sat in the courtyard of the Li residence with a dark expression on his face. He was waiting for his subordinates to bring back news about the alliances. The Li family had not planned to do this. But ever since they were forcefully pushed down the rankings, they grew more desperate. The Li family from the palace, who was one of the five upper wealthy families in the palace, had to buy odds to protect themselves. To Li Fangfeng, this was simply humiliating. Furthermore, the Li family had proved that the person who had come to the palace with Sun Zhongyang was Lu Xu. The Li family had put in a lot of effort to kill Sun Zhongyang during this journey, but they had failed. They did not try to understand the process, as the Sun family was observing the situation in order to find the person behind the scenes. Every single action by the Li family could leave hints behind. But was the process important? It was no longer important. Sun Zhongyang and the rest had to die. No matter whether it was the slaves or the mercenary soldiers led by Yi Qian, they had all been planned in detail. With Sun Zhongyang's strength, it was not possible for him to flee from danger completely. Thus, there had to be an unexpected variable. Looking back, the variable was Lu Xu. Out of the entire trade caravan, the only people they had not included in their plans were Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu. But Li Fangfeng could not understand. They had estimated that Lu Xu might be very strong, but this was too much. They had more than enough manpower to kill Sun Zhongyang. Even if the experts from the MO family were able to rush over, Sun Zhongyang would still die. Although the experts from the MO family had come earlier, it was not particularly timely. Even so, Sun Zhongyang did not die. Now, the Li family had new hatred piled on old ones towards Lu Xu. They had to kill Lu Xu. This had to do with Li Fangfeng's entry to the Sword Hut. There could not be any mistakes. The Sun and Li families did not hate each other to the point that they would not rest until the other was dead. This time, there was another consideration behind the attack on Sun Zhongyang. Sun Zhongyang's father was related to someone who had just advanced to the master realm. More than one year ago, when someone saw Sun Zhongyang's father, they determined that if another master were to appear in the palace, it would be Sun Zhongyang's father, Sun Xiuanwen. Furthermore, Sun Zhongyang was Sun Xiuanwen's only son. If he was a cold-hearted and expressionless expert, then so be it. Many people in the palace knew that Sun Xiuanwen doted on Sun Zhongyang. He did not spoil his son. Instead, he personally taught his son morals. Some said that in order for Sun Zhongyang to enter the rear mountain of the Sword Hut, Sun Xiuanwen had stood outside the Sword Hut in the rain for three days and three nights. In the end, a senior disciple from the Sword Hut went to find the Sun family. No one knew the process but Sun Xiuanwen did not get the results that he had wanted. Sun Xiuanwen was a disciple of the Sword Hut. If Sun Zhongyang was dead, they would be able to slow the Sun family down for at least five years. This was a conservative estimate made by the Li family. They were not worried that angering Sun Xiuanwen would instead help him to advance to the Master Realm. After all, one could not advance to the Master Realm just by being agitated. They might even be able to disturb him. Li Fangfeng was said to be the person who was most likely to advance to the master realm in the Li family. When he advanced to rank 1, the sound of Dao reached a radius of 8 kilometers. The last time this had happened was when Wen Zaifu had advanced to rank 1. Thus, the Li family badly wanted Li Fangfeng to enter the sword hut and become the first master in their family. At night, some candidates of the Sword Hut selections entered the Li family courtyard carefully. They did not say much. They coldly stood in their own corners and prevented them from getting too close to anyone. Li Fangfeng sat alone at a stone table in the courtyard. He smiled. I have called you here today regarding Lu Xu. I believe that you don't want to be a tool in the corrupt collection of wealth, right? I cannot help but admit that Lu Xu is the strongest candidate in the Sword Hut selections. 
Thus, instead of waiting for him to find us, we should work together and look for him. Li Fangfeng intentionally put himself in a low position. He had come here alone in the hopes that it would be able to dilute his identity as a member of a wealthy family, and be of the same standing as the rest. But they were not foolish. Someone stood in the shadows and laughed coldly. How do we know what the Li family is planning? Don't rise early unless there are benefits. You should know this better than we do. Li Fangfeng seemed prepared. He laughed and said, I am just getting rid of any worries about the future. If everyone is willing to work together, I am willing to pledge on behalf of the Li family that before the selections officially begin, the Li family will not attack anyone. This meant that as long as they were willing to work together and eliminate Lu Xu, the Li family would only appear during the official selections. Among the underlying trouble in the palace, if there was no longer the worry of the Li family causing trouble, everyone would feel much safer, even more so if Li Fangfeng was a true expert. They did not doubt whether Li Fangfeng was speaking the truth. On one hand, the Li family would not go back on their word in this situation. On the other hand, everyone knew that with Li Fangfeng's abilities, he would be able to enter the second round of selections safely. This was advantageous to the Li family as well. If Li Fangfeng gave himself a disadvantageous condition, the rest would not blindly believe him. Thus, to everyone, as long as they worked together to eliminate Lu Xu, they would be able to eliminate two sources of trouble before the selection started. Furthermore, some people looked at each other in the shadows. Was there another possibility that Li Fangfeng and Lu Xu would severely injure each other during the attack? They would be able to kill two birds with one stone. Boldness of execution stemmed from superb skill. But as long as there was a possibility, they were willing to try. Chapter 993 Honest and Frank Young Man When Should We Make Our Move? Someone in the corner asked. Although their objectives were different, and they had different plans, since they were going to the same place, they should act as soon as possible. Everyone had been trained in the army. They did not want to waste any time. Li Fangfeng laughed. Now. Let's eliminate him as quickly as possible and prevent any delays. Sure, said someone. They were well suited for one another as they all had similar thoughts. Everyone immediately headed towards Lu Xu's residence. Li Fangfeng observed the number of people. He knew that some people had not been notified. Some people had not come even after being notified. But there were already around 30 people here. It would not be much of a problem to eliminate Lu Xu. Li Fangfeng was somber. He wanted to kill Lu Xu at an appropriate opportunity. The sword hut did not prohibit the killing of others. It was not rare for people to die before the selections began. They did not make a huge uproar while they traveled on the roads. Instead, they jumped across rooftops. It was better to lie low. After all, there were hidden dangers in the palace. Those who traveled on the roads could sense the complex relationship between the candidates. Some grouped together and defended themselves against the others. Some hid in the dark and observed the situation. There were all sorts of relationships. The Li residence, where Li Fangfeng had situated the meeting at, was not too far away from Lu Xu's residence. He had decided on this location to allow them to act more easily. Thus, not long after, they arrived at a roof near Lu Xu's residence. But all of them were dumbfounded. It can't be. How exaggerated. Someone was shocked. Lu Xu sat in the courtyard and waited. Yi Qian stood behind Lu Xu and protected him. He did not mind this dull job. To be honest, Lu Xu was not used to Yi Qian protecting him like this. He wanted to let Yi Qian rest. But Yi Qian said that back then, when he was an imperial dragon soldier, he guarded the palace of the king of gods in eight-hour shifts. They could not even move. This was nothing to him. Originally, the courtyard was dusty. Everywhere inside and outside the house was covered in a layer of dust. But Anthony was adept at this. 
he easily swept all the dust away. Lu Xiaoyu was busy as well. She calculated that they would be in the palace for a relatively long time. After all, it would not be easy finding the route back home. If the disciples of the Sword Hut were able to break through the barrier between the two worlds, it would be slightly easier for them to do so. Thus, she decorated this house as if it were their new house. Even when Lu Xu was training his sword play, she would think about what decorations to place around the house. Lu Xu opened his eyes and glanced at Lu Xiaoyu. Has everything been prepared? He was referring to Anthony, the bishop, and Johnson. If many candidates came this time, Lu Xu would not be able to handle them alone. Lu Xiaoyu had to join in to make it even. Lu Xiaoyu looked at her account book. She did not even look up. Yes. This time, we will capture the candidates all in one go. There are probably only a few of them who are not coming, said Lu Xu. He was very pleased with himself. The Song Ji Gambling Den has relayed this information to us. Everything is as predicted. The Li family is the one in charge who has gathered a majority of the candidates to attack me. They are now discussing at the Li family residence. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to come. The new bet set by the Song Ji Gambling Den should have earned us enough money. Lu Xiaoyu thought about it and said, rationally, everything should go well. But for some reason, I feel that since this is your plan, some accident might happen. From Lu Xu's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu was unhappy. You don't trust me. No, Lu Xiaoyu looked up and calmly looked at Lu Xu. I am respecting history. Yi Qian looked at Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu in doubt. He felt that there was something wrong, but he could not figure out where. It was as if, there was something vague about Lu Xiaoyu's identity, but he could not figure out exactly where. It was as if something had not been worked out. At that moment, someone jumped into the courtyard. But the moment he landed, the ground stretched out like two hands, grabbing him. But this person was not weak. He exerted some force and broke through the two hands. Suddenly, the hands regained their shape and attacked. This time, they were even more ferocious. Wait. I am here to help you. The young man shouted. He had sensed that the one attacking him underground was a rank one. He did not think that Lu Xu would have a rank one protecting him. Furthermore, there was more than one rank one. No wonder he dared to fight the rest of the Sword Hut candidates. Lu Xu signaled to Lu Xiaoyu for her to stop. But Lu Xiaoyu did not truly have the intention to attack, nor did Yi Qian. But there was something heroic about a rank one going up against four rank ones. Lu Xu curiously asked, Who are you? You should have heard of me. The young man smoothed out his messy hair and stood with a dignified aura. I am ranked fourth on the list. I'm Yu Wentao. Lu Xu was puzzled. You know where I'm ranked, right? Yu Wentao thought about it and said, first. Then why are you trying to compete with me? Lu Xu could not understand. From Yu Wentao's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu nodded his head. He had confirmed that this young man was indeed Yu Wentao. But he was still confused. Why are you here? Are you the only one? I'm here to tell you that Li Fangfeng has gathered many candidates. They are heading here now. Hurry up and leave. Remember to repay me, said Yu Wenato. He seemed very pleased with himself. Lu Xu sighed. What an honest and frank child. Are the adults in your family okay, with you participating in the sword hut selections? He was not helping Lu Xu. Yu Wentao hated the Li family for buying the ranking for him. Thus, he intentionally came here to settle this. Lu Xu did not know the hate between the Yu family and the Li family. When Yu Wentao heard Lu Xu's words, he was unhappy. I am helping you out of my goodwill. Who are you to speak? Lu Xu suddenly said, 
don't you know that every candidate that has seen me has been eliminated? From Yu Wintao's distress, plus 666. Yu Wintao turned and tried to run, but realized that he had been surrounded. There was extreme danger all around him. But at that moment, Lu Xu, Lu Xiaoyu, Yi Qian, and Yu Wintao all heard a massive uproar outside the courtyard. Suddenly, the fight in the courtyard stopped. Lu Xu jumped up the wall and looked out. What? Lu Xu gasped in shock. He was surrounded by a crowd of citizens from the palace. Their eyes were full of hatred. Some people were even drenched. They seemed as if they had just climbed out of the Long Yin River. Lu Xu looked up and saw Li Fangfeng and the rest on the rooftops. They had followed this crowd, there were enemies everywhere. Li Fangfeng wanted to immediately attack Lu Xu, but they could not squeeze in. There were far too many people who wanted to kill Lu Xu. Chapter 994 The Sword Hut Among the Clouds My name is Lu Xu, and I am panicking beyond belief. Lu Xu stood on the wall and looked at the crowd. When he was planning this earlier, he thought that as long as he appeared, many people would definitely want to kill him, but, he did not expect this many people. He looked helplessly at the people. Their eyes were full of hatred. People continued to stream in. Lu Xu's plan was to kill the Sword Hut candidates, while Li Fangfeng's plan was to lead everyone to kill Lu Xu. But now, none of them could move. He is Lu Xu. Kill him. Hmm. He is actually quite good looking, someone suddenly said. Earlier, during a storytelling by a scholar, a girl had said that according to her elders, Lu Xu was a good looking young man. Back then, no one believed her. After all, there were no young and good looking commanders. But when they saw him, they could not help but admit that he was good looking. What time is it? Why do you care about this? Right. Sorry. Regardless of whether he is good looking or not, let's kill him first. The hatred the citizens of the palace held towards Lu Xu was not ordinary. Every set of armor used by the Wei Wu army was gained from the blood, sweat, and tears of these citizens. Some said that the rise of the Wei Wu army was the history of the palace written in blood, sweat, and tears. There was nothing wrong with this. Lu Xu turned back and saw Lu Xiaoyu expressionlessly packing their things. She felt that it was a pity. It was a good house, but they had to leave. Yi Qian asked, Boss, what should we do now? Run, Lu Xu was helpless. They could not kill all these people. They were not very powerful. If not, they would not have been so envious. But the problem was, could they commit a massacre just over this? Lu Xu was not bloodthirsty. Where will we go? Yi Qian asked. Lu Xiaoyu sighed. I expected this to happen. We still have the house that we booked from the inn. Let's secretly go back. Li Fangfeng and the rest stood on the rooftop and witnessed this scene. They did not even know what to do. Even the self-proclaimed leader, Li Fangfeng, was dumbfounded. I have lived in the palace for many years, but this is my first time seeing such a grand scene. Yes, it's not this crowded even during the new year, someone sighed with emotion. The candidates of the Sword Hut selections should be the protagonists surrounding Lu Xu, but they had been pushed to the side. Li Fangfeng could not stand this humiliation. Then what do we do now? We won't be able to chase them. We can't even land. Let's give it some time before making a decision, someone said. With the disappearance of Lu Xu, the sword hut selections seemed to return to normal. But no one could forget what had happened. An existence who was regarded as public enemy number one had finally appeared in the palace. Lu Xu was thankful that Anthony could use midsoil escape. If not, they would be discovered wherever they went. But Lu Xu was more annoyed by Xiao Mingzi, the boss of the Song Ji gambling den. Where were the sword hut candidates who were supposed to come and kill him? How did it turn out like this? Thankfully, the gambling den still had funds. If not, 
they would lose money again. Even worse, Lu Xu had disappeared again. At night, Lu Xu partially covered his face as he walked on the streets with Lu Xiaoyu. He was afraid that someone would recognize him. He said in a soft voice, What do you want to eat? I heard the meat pie from Sherlu Lane is amazing. Shall we try some? Lu Xiaoyu looked very uncomfortable. They had just returned to the Lu residence. But such a good house had been trampled by the furious citizens of the palace. They would have to spend a lot of money to rebuild it. Of course, there was a silver lining. All their anger had been released by destroying the house. They had been relieved of much of their anger. She felt that Lu Xu did not suit such a conspicuous position. At night, Lu Xiaoyu requested Yi Qian to find a broker and build a small house for them. They did not have any other requests. It just had to be concealed. After all, for a person like Lu Xu, it would not be safe unless he was concealed. It's all your fault, said Lu Xiaoyu. Don't make any plans in the future. There is something very wrong with your plans. Lu Xu was unhappy. We have to get up from where we have fallen. If I am not good at making plans, I should practice planning more. Have you heard about the barrel theory? As he spoke, Lu Xu saw a vendor selling barrels. He picked up one barrel to explain. How much water a barrel can hold is not determined by its height. It is determined by the height of the shortest piece. Ka. Lu Xiaoyu destroyed the barrel with a punch. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. The vendor was speechless. From Lu Xu's distress, plus 666. From. Lu Xiaoyu tossed a dozen notes to the vendor. Then, she continued to walk forward without looking back. One barrel cost about five notes. The rest of the money was to make up for the scare. Suddenly, Lu Xiaoyu stopped in her tracks. She looked up. In the distance, there was a place shrouded by clouds. The clouds covered the skies. Even the stars in the sky seemed to be concealed. It was like a heavenly country. They could not see what was inside. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu had heard of this place. The Sword Hut. The Sword Hut was in the palace, but it rarely exposed its appearance. During the Sword Hut ceremony, the civilians of the palace enjoyed coming to the Sword Hut to attend the ceremony. This was not just because of their admiration towards the Sword Hut. It was also the only time they could see the true appearance of the Sword Hut. The clouds had been placed by the head of the Sword Hut. It was said that masters could see everything within 50 kilometers. This no longer involved the strength of the eyes. This was a result of their magical instincts. But these clouds were very unique. Even masters could not see through them. Lu Xu suddenly thought about the rumor between the head of the sword hut and the old king of gods. Were the clouds put in place to prevent the old king of gods from looking in? After all, the other masters and lords of heaven were thousands of kilometers away. They would not be able to see this place. Even if there were other masters in the palace who dared to spy on the sword hut. This did not seem right either. Lu Xu felt that even the lords of heaven did not dare to spy on the sword hut. But at that moment, Lu Xu was dumbfounded. He felt as if there was a gap within the clouds. It was extremely small, but there was someone behind the gap looking at them. Suddenly, Lu Xu felt massive pressure. An unprecedented force was upon him. Lu Xu concentrated and tried to resist the force. He looked up and stared in the direction of the gaze. He would not retreat. Trying to make Lu Xu back down through force? There was no such thing. But the force came quickly and disappeared quickly. It was gone in a flash. Chapter 995 Puppet Master Ming Yuaya. The clouds above the sword hut merged together. The people inside the clouds stopped looking at Lu Xu, and it stopped Lu Xu from peeking into the clouds too. The space in the clouds was way more vast than one had expected. 
There was a real mountain and a young man sat on the peak of the mountain all year long. Lu Xu held Lu Xiaoyu's hand and walked backwards. He said seriously as he walked, in the Luniverse, there are indeed hidden talents. I can't defeat the person behind the clouds yet. Why do you want to fight with him? Lu Xiaoyu rolled her eyes. Exactly, why do I want to fight with him? Sigh, oh by the way, do you want to eat the meat pie from Sherlu Lane? asked Lu Xu. No thanks, didn't they say that the glazed flaming chicken from the palace tastes the best? I want to eat that, replied Lu Xiaoyu. At this moment, Lu Xiaoyu realized that Lu Xu was stunned. Lu Xiaoyu's words struck Lu Xu like a bolt of lightning, allowing him to think about a clue. At this moment, Lu Xu felt as though he recalled something important that he had once forgotten. Lu Xu dragged Lu Xiaoyu and ran towards the inn. I will bring you to eat the glazed flaming chicken tomorrow. Today, I need to do something important. Lu Xiaoyu pouted. However, what Lu Xu was referring to was definitely more important than the glazed flaming chicken. After they returned to the inn, they realized that Yi Qian had yet to return from obtaining the intelligence reports. Therefore, Lu Xu whipped out his black pearl from the Seal of Lands. Glazed Flaming Chicken was actually the name of a store located at the east of the palace. It sold a delicious dish called the Glazed Flaming Chicken. He had heard about the name of the store many times. Zhang Weiyu mentioned it, Lu Yixiao mentioned it, and the first person who mentioned it was Ming Yuaya. It was the person whom Lu Xu once met in the Chaos Abyss. Nobody knew how long had that person been trapped in that abyss. His identity was a mystery. That was because he was an amazing liar. Lu Xu returned to his room and injected the celestial powers into the Black Pearl. Then, he appeared in the Chaos Abyss. At this moment, Ming Yueya was holding onto a green bean. As if he was holding a marble, he shot the green bean out and it struck another green bean accurately. Then, the green bean rolled and landed beside Lu Xu's foot. Both of them were stunned. Ming Yueya sat up straight and acted as though nothing had happened. Lu Xu kept silent for two seconds. Is it fun? From Ming Yueya's distress, plus 666. What do you mean, I don't understand you? Ming Yueya acted ignorant and sat up straight. Clinging noises came as the chains on his arms and feet touched. Lu Xu examined Ming Yueyu's wrists and ankles carefully. They looked as if they were scarred and the scars looked new. The chains must be made of extraordinary material and Ming Yueyu must have had tried to break free multiple times, until his energy was depleted. Yet now, he was playing with the green beans as though nothing had happened. The green bean was the bean that Lu Xu used to disgust Hai Gongzi. Lu Xu thought, before he arrived, Ming Yueya must have roared ferociously and hurt himself through struggling several times in the black space. Lu Xu took out many snacks from the Seal of Lands and tossed them to Ming Yueya. I brought some snacks. You can eat them first. Ming Yueya was curious. Are you sure? I never knew you were so kind. I will only ask you one question, who on earth are you and why are you trapped here? asked Lu Xu calmly. However, how would Ming Yueya tell the truth for some snacks? He replied with a smile, then in exchange, you should tell me about your true identity too. If I don't know who trapped you, how am I going to bring you out? Lu Xu said as he looked at the deep, clear scars on Ming Yueya's back. Are we exchanging questions? suggested Ming Yueya. Lu Xu was slight unhappy, is it even useful? Ming Yueyo shook the chains and they produced loud noises. He thought about it. Actually, there's not much use. After all, they were not honest people and the information they exchanged would definitely be fake. Nobody would say the truth and they would end up in a series of speculations. Ming Yueyo shook the food packaging and examined it. Lu Xu realized that Ming Yueya did not know how to eat it. He took out another pack of chips and demonstrated it to Ming Yueya. Then, Ming Yueya realized how to open the packaging. However, instead of eating it right away, he asked again. 
since when were you so nice? You must not have entered this place in a year, what invited you over to look for me? Lu Xu kept silent. He would definitely make mistakes if he spoke. He did not expect Ming Yuaya to analyze the situation so thoroughly. He had indeed planned to obtain the information of the Luniverse through Ming Yuaya. That was because Lu Xu was very certain that Ming Yuaya came from the Luniverse and had once assumed a superior position. Therefore, he should know many secrets. No ordinary person would be trapped in this place like Ming Yuaya. How would any ordinary person be able to survive after not eating or drinking for a prolonged period of time? Are you sure that you don't want to be honest with me? said Lu Xu. Hold on, Ming Yuaya suddenly had a bad premonition. Then, he saw Lu Xu take out a round paper bowl with a black object. What the F asterisk CK is that, it is so smelly. Meanwhile, Lu Xu left the black pearl after putting the stinky tofu down. He was waiting in his room. From Ming Yuaya's distress, plus 199. From Ming Yuaya's distress, plus 210. From Lu Xu felt that he could confirm something. Ming Yuaya must be trapped in the Luniverse. In the past, after disgusting Ming Yuaya, the distress points would disappear once he left the Black Pearl. Yet now, this was not the case. On one hand, it showed that the barrier between the two worlds could stop the distress points. On the other hand, it implied that the stinky tofu was very smelly. However, where was Ming Yuaya? Lu Xu returned to the Chaos Abyss and immediately heard Ming Yuaya's roar. Are you crazy? What the F asterisk CK is this? Lu Xu suddenly said, Cloudy, Tiger Xi. The puppet masters have all died. Ming Yuaya suddenly fell silent. In the darkness of the Chaos Abyss, there was a beam of light shining from his forehead. However, Ming Yuaya looked down and one could not see his expression. From Ming Yuaya's distress, plus 1000. Ming Yuaya suddenly lifted his head and said calmly, You must have came from the land of forefathers since you know Cloudy and Tiger Ji. However, I do not believe that they are all dead. So, you are a puppet master, sighed Lu Xu. He could tell from the distress points. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look 